So before we start this episode, let's just take a minute to appreciate how fucking good this music is, man. Let's just... Let's just crank that shit up. That is so fucking good. Jesus. Welcome to episode uh, seven, eight. Hey, <laughs> episode eight of my Pokemon brand Nuzlocke. I am Saint Denial, and I am bringing you some top quality Nuzlocke action today. Mm, maybe not top quality, more middle ground. So, at the end of the last episode, we were uh, looking pretty fine. I'd lost well i say we're looking fine we're looking crap i lost growlith and um Ooh, what was the other one oddish uh, in a gym battle yeah i came back down to haywood city i brought out my doduo and my spodge which is a porygon back to the team hate you porygon but he has just learned thunder wave so that is going to be useful Let's have a look at his stats. Oh, you know what? He's actually not too bad. Pretty down the middle. Okay. It's that of normal typing, though, which means any normal type move will just body him. And that is not really very good at this stage in the game. A lot of things with quick attacks. Um, um, just even tackle has been not very good for him. So, LL. Um, also, and then the last episode, we got to this point here where uh, I needed somebody to learn cut so I could get through. None of my legal Pokemon could learn cut. Uh, I don't have any dead Pokemon in the box because I've been releasing them. So I've been out and caught myself a good old Oddish uh, just to use cut with. Uh, obviously, not allowed to be used in battle because he is an illegal mon. Not technically on the team. He's just here to do my bidding. So, with that being said... Let's get moving. Oh, yeah, no automatic cut. You have to go on to the Pokemon and press cut. Here we go. Wait, did I even need to cut that? Could I walk around it? I need to check that out because... That changed. That's, that was a piece of grass. It definitely was a piece of grass. Am I just going crazy? It's quite early in the morning. It's grass now. What lives in this grass underneath a tree or whatever that's supposed to be? Ratatas at level 17. Jeez, man. Now, you've got normal type moves. I don't want to fight you. No, that's probably normal type. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight, Ratata. I've just told you. Okay, it's good. It's good. Bugcatcher's going to come out. Bugcatcher is faster. Then ra ta 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 So we're going to be able to run. Thank goodness for that. And it's turned back into a block again. Oh, I should have stayed in it because I might have been able to walk through the... Hey, you know what? Welcome to episode one of my glitch quest. And uh, in this episode, we're going to find out if we can glitch our way through these trees by stepping into one of the trees uh, here. And I'm going to put you up front to take out whatever comes up. There we go. So we've got to get through this battle, or get out of this battle. It's a Spearow, oh, it's level 16 this time. Probably beat it, get some experience thrown. Nope. <laughs> uh, By the way, while Pokemon encounters, I am just going to be uh, speeding up through them, because they're boring. Okay, so now I'm inside this. Can I now walk? No, I can't. Oh, that's such a shame. It's magic. Well, okay, let's just heal up and then get back to where we were. So, so far, how long have I been recording for? Maybe five minutes? We've achieved absolutely jack all. So, we are going this way. Uh, now I want to know if I cut this one, does that turn into grass as well? It does! It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And let's see what this is. 
TM03, good, I like finding TMs. Let's see what we have here. Push up a TM, sword stance. Yes, I'm going to teach sword stance somebody. Oh, of course. Ah, sword stance raises attack. If you can use one of those to set up and start attacking, you're looking pretty good. Oh yeah, I also, I don't know if I did this on video or not. I went to the Mart to on items and while I was there, I bought a random TM and I got triple kick, which I also think... Oh no, save you can learn it, but um, I'm not going for that. I'm quite happy with his moveset at the minute. I'll save that for somebody else. And okay, so I don't need to go up there, do I? Is there any items up here? Don't want to miss anything. Okay, so let's go take on this chick. On your way to Silk Tunnel, are you? I guess so. Now you've told me. Silk Tunnel, here we come. Wants to fight. Sends out a ditto. Come on, Nopk. Get get in there with that fury attack. I know you're angry. I can feel it. It's super effective as well because it's a normal attack and Ditto is abnormal type. Now he's going to transform and I'm still going to be able to body him with fury attack, I think. How does he transform and then be faster than me? Ooh, why why the criticals? Why you do this to me? This has got to hit four times, really. It only hits twice. Swap out just in case. Oh, really don't like making this easy for me, this game. So, Spodger's going to take him on. Goes for the quick attack. Oh, again, it's normal type. So why did I do that? I outspeed. I don't outspeed. I get hit by Fury attack. If this hits three times, after all, mine have only hit twice. I'm going to go Furious. Well, that was close. Okay, seal. Seal is... Ah, it's another difficult one because it's an ice type. Let's get ourselves our Lord Saviour out there. And we're going to get in there with the Octazooka. It's not going to be super effective. It's not probably not even going to be very effective yet. But it's going to do enough damage. And it poisons. Good. Headbutt. He's going to eat that up because his defence is good. Get hit by the poison. Yeah, go for the bite this time. That should finish him off, I think. Oh no, we have to go for one more. Aurora Beam's not going to do anything either. Yeah, so actually, you know, I've not got anything super effective against the Ice, but I have got Saviour, who is strong against it. So, uh, I'm going to be good in that. 25! He's about to use Oddish. Now, he's not strong against Oddish. I think he probably could beat Oddish, because it's probably going to be 15, 16. Probably would have beat it, but... Safer to switch out. And let's let Bugcatcher have a go. Fury attacks only hitting twice again. Doesn't get hit with the poison, which is a good move. Get the swift. Nice. Poison powder hits this time, but it's okay because I'm going to finish him off this turn with swift. I won't even take any poison damage, and then I'll heal it up with an antidote at the end of the bedroom. And he's about to use Bell Sprout, which I can go with. Let's get Saviour out there. Again, weak to, weak to Bell Sprout, but I think strong enough to survive. Uh, and well, we've got Ice Beam as well, actually, which can take Bell Sprout down in one. Yeah. Easy. What are you even worrying about? Nicely done. You little brat! You little hoe. By the way, this might not be obvious because I do seem to still be swearing a lot, but I am really holding it back here. <laughs> I mean, if, if you ask anybody that knows me, I'm I'm being so well behaved in this video in these videos. Uh, I'm not going to drop another one on you. Oh, okay. This guy, this guy. We are going to battle him because I need to battle everybody really. So I need to get these Pokemon's leveled up. Go for the Diglett. And uh, I've got flying type moves, which should be strong against our Diglett here. Yeah, another one. Growl does nothing. Peck hopefully finishes him off. Easy. And a crit. Didn't need it, but we got it. Crit didn't matter. Level 15, Onyx. 
Yes, we switch and we go for. Now the easy thing to do here would be to go for Saviour. What does Spodge knows? Yeah, it's gonna have to just be Saviour. Um, just to be safe. And this this uh, this water is gonna get so over leveled. Might even just be able to take it down with a water gun. Ooh, on it! You big stupid rock worm! You ain't got shit, sunshine! Hiker, he's big, he's fat, he battles like a, t like an inept battler. Hiker, hiker, hi there. Hey you. Hey. Yeah you. Battle now. Oh, that's rude. That's rude, man. How about please, junior trainer? Where are all these juniors being brought up or dragged up from? Oh, it's Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. I'm sorry I lost you. I wish I could take you back. But don't worry, Norb. <laughs> I love you too, and you are the man. You're going to take down this guy. He's three levels higher. But you smashed him up. Why aren't you leveling? We get a Charmander. And we're going to go for Bug Catcher. Our oh, Charmander looks dope. And uh, bug catcher. Charmander level 18, not evolved. It's holding off, isn't he? Tactics, man. Looks for the ember. That's not going to do too much. Yeah, decent. Another swift. Oh, it might just survive that. No, down he goes. Bye bye, Charmander. More experience. Level 19. This is what we're looking for now. Now, oh, man. I can't be losing any more Pokemon, particularly any higher level ones now, because I'm going to be catching Pokemon lower than the levels that I need them to be to win the battles, which means I'm going to have to be doing grinding, which is not what I want to do. I want to keep these Pokemon, beat everybody that I come across, uh, and level them all up that way. So we go for the peck. By the way, I've just, as I'm recording this, I've just posted episode two. Shout out to Left Witches, uh, also known as Rebecca, who uh, has suggested that I name all my Eevees after her. Absolutely will. Thank you for being my one and only subscriber at the point of recording this video. Oh, these critical hits are going to matter. Oh, and it hits again! No, I was just saying, I don't want to lose anyone. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh. Come on, Spodge. Wait, wait, was he using Fury Attack, which is a normal type? <laughs> How about now? Dickhead. This camera's pissing me off. It's more like it. Come on, we're strong against this guy. It's just because he happened to have that Fury attack. That's all the only reason he went down. I've got to learn Pokemon movesets from Gen 1. Yeah. Okay, so we're good. It's alright. I mean, yeah, it is a bit lame. Do Duo. <sighs> Sorry, man. But I'm going to put you to the back. No, no, no. no not what I meant to do. I know it doesn't make a difference because he's not going to come out in battle anyway. Because he's fainted, but I like to have my fainting Pokemon at the back. Makes more sense. Okay, so let's get down this route. We've got a gentleman here to take on. And yeah, I think we're in good shape to get it on. The tunnel ahead leads to Moraga Town. Good stuff. So we're going to Moraga Town. Moraga Town. Let's go for Moraga Town. Another Charmander. These are popping up quite regularly now. And we will go for the Thunder Wave. It goes for the Growth to lower the attack. That's fine. Because I'm going to get the Thunder Wave. Which is going to paralyze. Which also halves speed. Uh, which means I'm going to outspeed. And we're going to take him down with some tackles. Hopefully he misses some moves. No, he's hitting. Okay. Well, this is the only uh, offensive move I've got. Of course I miss. 
course I miss, and while you're paralysed, you hit. And you know Scratch, which is a normal type. See what I mean? Every Pokemon is going to have a normal type move. Like, at least up until like the 4th or 5th gym. Every single Pokemon is going to have Scratch, or Tackle, or Quick Attack, or something. Fury Attack. And it's just going to keep bodying me. This may go down to a 2 Mon lock at this rate, and it will be Bug Catcher and Savior. Which is decent, not too bad type coverage, I suppose. But it means I'm super, super weak against electric types. Here comes Squirtle, so let's have a battle of the Squirts. Little Squirtle. And a little Wartiddle. And let's get some. Out to Zuka in there. Yeah. I don't know, it goes for Bubble. Level 17 Squirtle with Bubble. Come on, guys. Got no water gun by now. Yeah, one more of them. That's him down. Goes for Tail Whip. Lowers the amount of defense, but it doesn't because it doesn't hit. Water gun. Kasplash. Kasplash. Water gun. He is toast. Soggy, wet toast. He's got Bulbasaur as well. Okay, so this guy's going for starters. How, how much are we betting that his next one is Pikachu? Just point it out there. Go for the pick. Oop, there it is. And goes for the leech. Doesn't get it. Peck's going to finish him off because it's super effective. Ta ta for now. Sunny Jim. He's about to bring out Pikachu. Yes. Because finally I have somebody that's not weak against. Although it probably knows quick attack. So, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Now, let's play safe for now and put a potion on the guy. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh! Oh, it's as if I'm psychic! I am a psychic type! Goddamn quick attack. Well, I'm going to get a move in anyway. Can I thunder wave a Pikachu? I wonder. Goes for thunder shock this time. Wonder why. Oh, apparently... Oh, so I went for thunder wave to paralyze him. I get paralyzed myself. Now we're both paralyzed. Uh, so we're going to switch out. Get Bug Catcher back out there. Now this this is the thing. Goes for Thunder Wave, so I'm now also. Okay, so here's the thing. Bug Catcher's weak against Electric. Squirtle, um, Squirtle, Water Turtle, Savior is weak against Electric. And uh, Spodge is weak. Full stop. So, I mean, what do you do in that situation? Thankfully, Pikachu is paralyzed, and that Swift does good damage. I only need to survive one more. That is good, man. Finally, rolling the dice and getting some sixes. Perfect. Good Pokemon for a junior trainer, though. Where did you get them? He's been robbing Professor Oak, man. Robbed him blind. Uh, I'm not going to jump back down there. Thank you very kindly. Let's have a look. Heal up a little bit. Spudge. Now, did I buy Paralyze Heals? Or is that something I'm just going to have to deal with? I didn't buy Paralyze Heals. Oh, I have got three, actually. Now I'm lying. Okay, let's get them used. Well, watch me walk around this corner now, and there's a Pokemon Center. Now, is this the same route? Because I feel like I'm overdue a new encounter, to be honest. To be completely honest. Like, totally up front. I think you owe me an encounter. Let's have a look. Where's my town map at? Yo, town map, where you at? I definitely picked up the town map. I knew I picked up the town map. What the hell's happening? Well, let's see what happened. No, I don't need to call that. I'm sure you get it from this guy. 
Okay, okay, right, okay, I know what happened. Now, this is going to feel like deja vu, because I've already done this battle on record, and I've already posted the episode. No, I haven't posted the episode, but I've finished the episode that has got this battle in it, and what happened was, I did the battle, and then at the end of that episode, I didn't save the game. Um, so, at the start of the next episode, I... Realised I hadn't saved the game, so I recorded the episode again, did all the same things again, um, but I didn't battle this guy, so I've had to come back. Here we go. Smash this guy up, go and get uh, the town map from that girl. I feel like he gives you the dig and the girl inside the house gives you the town map afterwards. Okay, this is a good bit of trainer anyway, I don't mind. This is fighting type. I'm abnormal type, not normal anymore. So I'm not weak, I don't think. We'll find out. Oh, maybe I am then. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, god damn. I'm weak to everything I've come across. Oh, I need to put you uh, not away as well. So let's go with... No, because are you weak to fighting too? Man, I need to think before I press. Yes. So he's not weak, but he did get a critical. And that karate chop's getting a lot of criticals. And another critical is going to be difficult. It gets it again! I outspeed, I get the peck, match up goes down. Fuck you, mess up! Spice goes to level 17. Good. So now we get Drowsy, who's going to swap for Savior. Right, what generation? was Porygon 2. And can you get him in this game? Because I know there's some Gen 2 Pokemon in this game. It's making me wonder whether maybe Porygon 2 might be obtainable. I'm going to do some research on that. Oh dear. Right, I suppose I best uh, make a note of this episode, shouldn't I? Of what I've lost. What did I lose? Do duo. Oh, oh, it's so sad. Fine, you can have this place. Thanks. I, can... I don't want it. There's nothing here. But you have given me the TM, which is Dig. Which, the first time I recorded this, I gave it to my Growlithe. Which I don't have anymore. So, that's actually useful. But I don't want to give it to you either. Okay. Why can he learn everything? Like, literally every move. This guy. Team Rocket came from Kanto to terrorise our nice town. You seen any suspicious men lately? If so, report it to me and I'll deal with them. Yeah, he's just walked past you. And she's going to give me the town map. She's a good lass. Thank you very, very much. Use the map if you get lost. You get lost. How about that? So, here's what we wanted. What is going on here? Why don't I just get to go back to where I want to be? Okay, 63. Okay, so no is the answer. Yeah, no, so the answer is no. It's, it's, it's the same route to that long-winded question that I just did. Great. It's a funky tune. Okay, so let's get out of here. Now, I've been considering recording episodes like one at a time, like the day before I release them, so that it's more up to date. I can be a little bit more interactive, but the truth is, I'm really enjoying playing this game. So, I just want to record it all in one go. So if you um, do interact with me, you know, want me to do something on the video, whatever it is, it may be a few videos along before I can actually implement it. Let's get rid of our latest dead mon, which is Norp. Thanks, Norp. We'll release him later. I can't bother to do it now. 
So let's get back up. Oh man, I'm so pumped for this today. I've had my first driving lesson today. That got me pumped up. Uh, sorry, second driving lesson today. That got me pumped up. Now I am oh, absolutely buzzing to play some more of this. And I'm actually going to do... Well, I'm going to do a little bit of something else later as well. But I'm going to keep it a secret. I'm going to be a little sneaky snake and I'm going to keep it a secret. And you're not going to know what it is unless you look on my channel. Then you find out. By the time this video comes out, I will have already done it, so it won't make a difference. The tackle. Ratata is super effective against my man here, but I'm going to risk it. With another quick attack. Oh, there it is. Tackle is good. And uh, it's not a risk I'm willing to take again. Let's get Spiro back out there. Man. See, I, do, I just don't know whether to... Just get Squirtle out from level. He's so over leveled at the minute. I could easily get him up to like. I mean, it'd be a Blastoise by the time I do another gym. And then just body the whole game. No, it's not a good idea. It's not a good thing to do, Wade. Stop talking shit. So, get a potion back on our Spodge. Cuffed him a little bit. Because guess what? He's weak to everything you ever fight ever. Oh, look at that. Ratata. Weak to. Can't escape. So he's not only is he weak, but he's slow. <clears throat> Man. Okay, let's take this douche on. Bug Pokemon never lose! Yeah, maybe in your tiny little universe, Sunshine. In my world, Bug Pokemon never win. Which is why I don't have any. Although that Venonite does look pretty dope, to be fair. With its massive eyes. Right. Goes for tackle, which is super effective because I'm a douchebag. Thunder Wave's good though. That lowers his speed. Paralyzes him. So I'm going to heal up and then try and take him down with this guy. Because I really need to level him so that he's strong enough to withstand all these stupid attacks. Goes for disable, which is going to disable tackle. Perfect. Now what? Oh, I just converted to bug type. That's what I need to do. I need to convert type so that I'm not weak anymore. God, I'm so clever. It's just taken me so long to work this out. I'm just going to keep using Sharpen. Until my tackle's not disabled anymore. Because then my attack is going to be sky high. And then I can absolutely body him. But how long is it going to take for my tackle? There we go. So my attack now should be absolutely out of this world. And I should be absolutely bodying him. Oh yeah, a couple of shots. That's going to get my tackle again. Now it's sharpened. Good stuff. Don't want that anyway. Tackle's good. Conversion, man. Think about it. Okay, so that just made Spodge a beast. In like seconds. I'm already converted. To, so I don't need to worry about the tackle. I can st stick with it. I can just hit again. It's going to tackle me again. I can hit it one more time. Ah, see. Oh, it's a good time to get a big roll. Nicely done. Venonat again. I'm not changing Pokemon, but I am going to... Slip a potion before I carry on. Goes for the disable. Does nothing. And my tackle is going to take him down. Disable again. Still does nothing. Another tackle. Oh yeah. Another one of them. Come on. Big one. Big roll. High roll. Disable gets rid of conversion. Don't need it anymore. Another big tackle. And we are scot free. And we're up to level 18. When do you learn some move spot? Like, like I mean something decent. I want to just do the quick little turn. See if there's anything in these spots. Man, all these blank spots are really throwing me off. Because I think there should be items in there. Okay, I feel like this girl is going to be one of the last ones. Before we get to the cave. Let's take her on. Well, that looks like the cave there, so that's good. 
What is it, pervert? How does she know? She's not even spoke to me. Maybe I should have been looking at her eyes when I was talking to her. Oh, she's a junior trainer. <laughs> this is awkward. Please, no one report me. Goes for Blight. Not very effective. Tackle's good. Now, this Meowth probably knows some uh, normal type moves. There it is. Oh, no! No! What have I done? What have I done? I should have known that. Look how cute my half is, though. No, my half! I'm not happy with you right now. Stop being so goddamn cute. Come on, bug catcher. I knew this was going to go this way. I knew it. God damn. Minus Spodge. Thanks for coming, Spodge. Good night. Oh, man. I'm speechless. Like, what a mistake to make. <sighs> Mediocrity at its finest. But we do get bug catch level 20. That is pretty sound. I'm quite happy with that. And book catcher is evolving! Yes! Spiro, you are beautiful, you're a good looking man, and you're about to turn into an absolute beautiful, powerful, majestic Firo! <clears throat> Got a Firo. Fast, he's fast, man. Good attack as well. Not so good defense, but decent. Yeah. 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 So right now, then, let's just do a quick team recap. We have got Bugcatcher at level 20. Uh, that's a Fero. And then we'll just look to him. So let's have a look at the savior. Again, nice bulky saviour. 56 defence, that's good. Especially at 45, decent. It's quite well rounded, actually. Not the fastest, but good attack and good specials. And uh, most of his attacks are special type anyway, so that's good. In fact, everything on him is a special move, so that's pretty cool. Um, good. Everything else on the team is either dead or a slave, so why? I'm not going to go into that. And here is the cave. Now, in. Yeah. Now, te in Pokemon... Right, let me think about this. I feel like there should be a Pokemon Center before this, because this is like the equivalent of Rock Tunnel, right? But there's not. So... Yeah, let's call it a day, yeah? And in between episodes, I'll run back, heal up, sort my squad out, and I'll come back to you. And we will do episode 9. I can't believe what I'm on episode 9 already. This is flying by. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. There's going to be more to come. I've got some, I'm going to do some live streams coming up soon, hopefully. Uh, and it's going to be great. See you in a bit. Peace.